Thank you. So as, uh, as was mentioned, we're going to be talking about the customer community today. So the first thing that I wanted to cover with you all is, is why we're even discussing this. What, what can you find in the community and, and how can it help you? So today we're going to be taking a look at locating help documentation. So the idea here is that we want to work with everyone that uses Bullhorn as an administrator or as an end user, and we want to be able to provide them with help documentation. So we're going to show you how not only to find what you're looking for, but how to help others find what they're looking for. Now for our accounter support contacts, they can also use the community in order to escalate issues to Bullhorn supports. And we will also go over how to do that here in a little bit. Lastly, it's important to understand that you can use the community to stay up to date with the latest Bullhorn news and events. So if you've been around using Bullhorn for a while, you're used to seeing what our old resource center and it didn't bring anything together for us. With the new community, we're able to find a lot more stuff all in one place and you don't have to be sent to a multitude of sites in order to find what you're looking for. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now to help us understand how this can be helpful and how this is different than what we've had before, I wanna start with a little bit of a story for you all. Now, I fantastically have been promoted recently and I was a recruiter who just used Bullhorn, but now I've been promoted to a Bullhorn administrator. I'm really enthusiastic and really happy about using Bullhorn. I use it every single day. And now my team has turned to me and said, I want you to manage Bull, our Bullhorn administrator. Or I want you to, uh, to manage our Bullhorn. So that involves working with things like field mappings, view layout, entity title, system settings. So these are things that I, as a standard user, am sort of aware of on the sides, but I don't necessarily know how to work with them. Now, in an ideal situation, I would be told how to use all of these, and I would have this great turnover process with our previous administrator. In the real world, that doesn't always happen. There are often changes. Um, that happen very quickly and therefore maybe the previous administrator is in a different position or in a different building and I can't lean on that person as much as I would like to. So I need some sort of tool to help me with that. I need a, a bullhorn help guide and that's what a big portion of the community is for. While the community uh, does let us know about things like events coming up with Engage, or such as Engage, or a new webinar, as you guys are attending right now, that is coming out, there's also a section on the Bullhorn community that's specifically referred to as Bullhorn Help that will guide me in how to work with these types of things. So let's go ahead and actually open up the community. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you could get there. You could go to help.bullhorn.com if you would like, or if you're in Bullhorn itself, you would just hit the help icon on the top right there, and that's gonna take you right into the system. So let's jump right in and take a look at it. So I've got my Bullhorn pulled up here. As you can see, like I mentioned before, you just click this help icon on the top right. Now previously this help icon just took you to videos and that was about it. Now the help icon is gonna take you to the Bullhorn community. The community, um, allows me again to look up help information. So for example, let's say as the new administrator, I get a request from my team. They noticed something odd and they want my assistance with it. So let's take a quick look at, at our issue here. So someone came to me and noticed that when they're working with contacts, this is my contact list that we see pulled up here. Uh, it's really handy that we have an ID number right here in the in the bowling alley and we can see their ID number right here. So when we're working with contacts, we have a lot of people with similar names, John Smith or something along those lines. It's really handy to be able to see IDs in this list view so that if we have multiple folks with the same with similar names, we can tell them apart. Or if we have jobs with a very similar title, we want to be able to have the ID at a quick glance. And that I issue that we've run into is whenever somebody opens up one of the candidates in our system, it doesn't actually load the ID. It just shows their names. So it works for our contacts, but it doesn't work for our candidates. And that's very confusing uh, to our end users. They want us to figure this out. Now, when I, uh, as a admin, I may not have any idea what controls this. 
again, I'm aware of things like system settings and field mappings, and I could potentially go in here and start clicking around and guessing. Um, but I may or may not be able to find the answer because there's a lot of options here and it's something that I haven't dealt with before. The help site is what's going to be able to allow us to be able to find an answer to a question like that. So as you can see here, when you click into the community, it takes you directly to the help section of the community. There are several tabs up here at the top. There's community training, product updates, marketplace, and events. We will uh, take a look at each one of those here in a little bit, but the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna solve my issue. I wanna figure out why or how can I add this ID number to my bowling alley, even though I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna use Bullhorn Help to help me figure out that answer. So the first thing that you're gonna notice if you're used to our Bullhorn uh, Resource Center, which was what we used to have as a, a way for you to look up help articles, is that we've actually got some tabs here to help you navigate a little bit. So if you wanted to learn more information about Canvas or you've heard about Bullhorn Novo and you wanna check that out, you have some opportunities to kind of click into things and figure it out. And there's also a table of contents here under the Topics tab, which again, we'll look at here in a few moments. But right now, I know exactly what I'm trying to do, so I'm just gonna search for it. So I'm gonna think about what it is that this means. I'm trying to add an ID for a record. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just search for record ID. So as I type, one of the things that you're gonna notice is we have a new uh, modern search with the community. So it automatically begins to pre-populate uh, an option here. So I could right here click this and open up the, the article and find what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter though, or click the search button, and you'll notice that you get an even more robust search results to help you find keywords in case whatever you're looking for in the community doesn't come back exactly as you expected. Now, in this case, how do I display record ID numbers in the bowling alley is exactly what I'm looking for, so I'll be able to open up that article. Now, you'll notice that there's, right off the gate here, a picture to help me kind of figure out, all right, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I wanna take this candidate that doesn't have the ID and I wanna be able to make the, the ID appear in it. So that's fantastic. I know that I've got this. You'll notice some boxes here up at the top that identify whether or not I can do this. So we have different versions of Bullhorn. There's team edition, there's corporate edition, there's enterprise edition, and there's a few others. This is gonna tell you whether or not you're able to do whatever this particular item is. So if I had team edition, I wouldn't be able to make this change because you can't customize the team edition. You have to use the, the standard setup, so I wouldn't be able to do this myself. Another thing that's important to realize um, when you're looking at an article is this audience. So it is intended for certain types of users. So a standard user might not be able to adjust this because only administrators users have access to this right out of the box. Now you'll notice as you mouse over these that it does explain things a little bit more. So for those of you with corporate or enterprise edition, you know that you can set up custom user types. So this audience may not be exactly uh, the same as what your actual user types are. So on a case-by-case -case basis, if you have corporate or enterprise, you may want to check to see it, whether or not that applies to you. But for 95% of the time, you can trust that standard users is for your standard users and admin users is for your admin users. Now, what I'm going to do in this article is I can go down now and start reading it and following the steps to tell me how to do what I need to do. If you've used our previous resource center, you're gonna notice already that this is much easier to follow, much easier to, to view, uh, which is nice. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can actually bookmark these articles directly now. Previously, you couldn't do that. You had to have Bullhorn Support send you a special URL in order to bookmark it. That's no longer the case here. It works like any other website. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do in order to fix my issue is I'm gonna read my directions and I'm gonna say from your bullhorn menu, select view layout and I see the picture here telling me to select view layout but I'm immediately confused because my setup does not look like that at all. Uh, I have a completely different looking setup than I see in this image and I'm already kind of lost and confused. Uh, that's because these pictures uh, are in our new version of bullhorn, bullhorn novo. So I am on the older version of Bullhorn Novo, or Bullhorn, that is S-Release. And some of you may still be on S-Release, some of you may um, be on Novo. 
something that I want to make clear to, to you is that all of your articles are going to have options for both. So while your pictures may align to Bullhorn Novo, there's always going to be a call out if there's something different for Bullhorn S release. So for example, here in Bullhorn Novo, I could easily get to it in my buttons here, but I can't in S release. It's under the tools menu and it explains to me right here, menu, tools, view layouts. So I'm going to use the view layout to adjust my candidate's layout so that it has the ID. And it's going to walk me through step by step exactly how to do that. And I'll be able to go in, I'll recognize that it's a candidate, I'll load that, I'll go to the profile record as per the steps listed here, and I'll be able to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. So as an administrator, it's really helpful, even though I, I go in blind and I don't even know exactly what I'm doing, there's a lot more articles that have ever existed before in our resource center, there's a, at least three times as many articles in our new Bullhorn community. So you'll be able to find the answer to what you're looking for so that you can go in and make the change exactly as you need to be able to succeed as an administrator. So it's a really great tool to help you figure out how to do what you need to do in order to uh, accomplish your goals. So as an administrator, it's a great tool because you can't, nobody can be expected to remember how to do everything, especially in the administrative role. There's so many different aspects of Bullhorn. There's system settings, there's, there's uh, field mappings and view layout. There's a ton of different things that you have to be able to work with. So the community helps you, helps jog your memory. If you've been through training two or three years ago, or it's been quite some time since you've worked with it, you'll be able to go in here to the community click on configuring bullhorn and help yourself kind of navigate through um, all these different topics in order to find an answer to what you're looking for. So for example, if you've got questions on how to add and remove users, you can go to user management in here and it's gonna give you step-by-step -step, uh, directions on how to handle manipulating your users. So if you're curious, you know, I got to I have to replace a user and I, and I don't want to be double billed. How can I make sure to do that? Previously, you would have to call support and go, I need you guys to, to walk me through this. I'm nervous. I don't know what I'm doing. And our support is fantastic. They'll always take the time to help you and walk you through everything. But not everyone's got the time to, to hop on the phone or hop on a support chat and, and have someone show them exactly where to, to go. By using the community, you'll be able to quickly find the answer that you're looking for and be able to be confident that as an administrator, when you make these changes, you're going to be doing it the right way and that you're not going to uh, worry about issues with billing or issues with access and those types of things. So these articles, again, are very comprehensive. We have a much larger uh, article base than we've ever had before. We've tripled it. So if you've used our old resource center before and you were like, this isn't the greatest, I couldn't find what I was looking for, it was really hard to navigate, you should check out the new Bullhorn community, specifically the Get Help section. It's going to help you out quite a bit. Now, I want to cover since we're still within the Get Help, I want to talk about support and this view all topics really quickly. This is another tool that's really going to be helpful for you as an administrator or as an account or support contact. Now, for those of you who are not account or support contacts, those are, our, those are users at your company that have the ability to contact support directly. They're really intended to be power users of Bullhorn. They are the people at your company that should be able to um, act as a subject matter expert or a user expert. And those folks are going to be fielding a lot of questions naturally. Now, if you're the expert at Bullhorn and you've got a ton of coworkers that you're always trying to help, you may not have the time to walk them through every single thing. So let's say, for example, at your company, you recently purchased the Bullhorn SMS package. You have 30 users and you don't, you've, you've given them a training, you give them a video of walking them through the system, but they still have questions. They still need a little bit of help every day and you just don't have the time to show them how to use it. You now have the ability to go to this topics menu, which again, I got to by clicking on get help and then view all topics. And when I go into that, this is like a table of contents and I can go in and find the SMS section and I can actually grab the URL for this, send it to a coworker, and they'll be able to open this directly and it'll take them to all of the articles about Bullhorn SMS. So 
as a an account or support contact, I can go, listen, I will gladly help you with figuring out how to do this, but first I want you to read this. And then you can send that article or that list of topics to your user and say, hey, check out this article. It tells you exactly how to send a text message. If you still can't do that, then reach out to me. We've revamped all of our articles to be very clear, to have step-by-step -step directions with pictures on every step. Um, so we have gone in and overhauled all this to make it as simple as possible for your users. So we're, this is not a tool that's only meant for your administrators, so it's only meant for your account and support contacts. You wanna build habits with your users to get them to go to this first to help them find an answer because most folks, they just want a really quick, just tell me how to do this and we'll, you'll be able to set them up for success by telling them to use this system in order to find an answer. So for example, as in a, uh, they are asking you when they go to add a notes, they wanna add in or change these note actions. All you have to do is use the search here, type in note action, and you'll be able to find an answer on how to, if you spell note action correctly, that does help, uh, on how to update your note actions. You'll find exactly the article that you're looking for and be able to walk them through that. So again, you wanna share this with your team, bookmark these, train your team, tell them, hey, this is a cool new tool. If you've used the resource center three, four months ago and you threw it out the window, you wanna reconsider your options and take a look at the new bullhorn community because a lot of these articles are going to help you out quite a bit now we've covered how to look up support articles and we've covered how to use the topics but one of the things we haven't looked at yet is this contact support button so your account or support contacts are going to be able to go in and submit tickets and talk with bullhorn support directly via the community so the way that they get to that is they go to this get help button and then they click on contact support or if you look at the top right here you'll see your name and then there's always going to be a contact support here on this little drop down. So from wherever you're at, you can get into the, the contact support section and you'll see the, the support section. Now, this is where you can go in and look at your existing support tickets. So, for example, here, I've got a ticket open with Bullhorn support about my open source career portal. I could see that the status is customer input. And what that means is, is that Bullhorn support is actually waiting on me to give them an answer. Now, I, they did email me about it, but I forgot, or my email inbox is a nightmare. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the ticket itself. When I go in here, you'll notice that if you have the ability to access tickets, again, you're an account or support contact, you're gonna have all the familiar fields that you're used to seeing. Um, and you'll be able to see what's the current status of your ticket. You'll be able to leave comments. If you've got questions, you can contact support directly using this comment feature. Um, you can even close or reopen a ticket via this screen. Now, they said that they're waiting for me to give them an answer. I know that it's in customer input, but I don't know what the request was. If I scroll down here on this ticket, I'll actually be able to see the emails associated with that ticket open it up and read it. And I can see that they want me to download and review this attached document. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, here's a Word doc for me to fill out that I need to fill out in order to set up my open source career portal. This allows me to see everything about my, my open case or my open ticket with Bullhorn Supports and be able to close it or open it. And then also we have a chat option that will allow you to open up and specifically grab a, a support analyst and chat with them about a particular issue if you have something uh, that you need to talk about right away. Now, if you have a, a sort of casual request or it's something that you're interested in, but maybe you don't need an answer right then and there, you can always submit a new ticket. And when you go into that section, it'll give you the options that you're used to seeing when you go to submit a support ticket to choose the severity, put in the information about your tickets, and, and even attach screenshots or videos if you need to. One of the cool features in this submit a new ticket section is if you have a problem, you can begin to type in the subject here, and it'll actually populate articles for you on the right-hand side here. So if, you, if there is an answer, or an article that could possibly help you. Uh, you'll be able to review that article before you submit a, a ticket and see if, you've, if you can just solve it for yourself right then and there. And then if you go look at this and you go, you know what, this isn't the issue that I'm having, I actually do wanna talk to support, you can go in and, and continue filling out your, your ticket from there.
So within the Get Help section, again, there's articles. Um, so if you have a question on basic functionality, how to use Bullhorn, how to, to parse in a new candidate or parse in a new resume, you could go right in, into the Using Bullhorn section and find an answer to your question. Now, that's just within this Get Help section. There's a ton of other sections within the community that can help you achieve things. So for example, this is really intended, this Get Help section, to get you an answer to a specific question. How do I update a note? How do I send an email? How do I do X, Y, Z? If you're brand new to Bullhorn, you've never used it before, or you're a new hire, or you have a new hire uh, that you wanna get training for, you can go to this tab right here, that's the training tab, and you'll be connected with e-learning. So these are all of our pre-recorded e-learning videos that will help train your folks on how to use Bullhorn, but you also have other options here, your public training and private training. So if you wanted a public training, you wanna attend one of our um, courses that, in, that have multiple Bullhorn customers at it to learn general concepts like general admin or general end user usage, those types of things. You can sign up for it here. You can also request a quote for private training. So if you want something that's specific to your company that's only on a specific topic, you can always go in here and fill out a quote for that. Uh, so that's all of our training. And we also have product updates, marketplace. So you may have used the customer portal before, which is where a lot of this has lived previously. This is one of the benefits of the Bullhorn community. We've taken all these different resources, where to find training, where to get release notes, where to find out information about Bullhorn, and we've combined it all into one place for you, so you don't have to go to three or four different sites in order to find out more information about Bullhorn. So the um, so as we're seeing here under the product updates tab, we've got release notes. So if I have multiple products that I of Bullhorn that I use, I can go in and see what are the really latest product updates, or I can filter back to old ones if I have a question about a previous one so that I can keep up to date. Again, I'm a, a new Bullhorn administrator. I really need to keep up with what's going on with Bullhorn because if a new feature comes out that my team can use and benefit from, I wanna be able to, to take advantage of that. Uh, our marketplace tab takes you to uh, a list of all of our marketplace partners and then our community tab here. This takes you um, to our main community page. So this is where you're gonna see announcements of things related to Bullhorn. So yes, it'll take you back to support and training and all of that, but it'll also give you information about upcoming events. You can see things that are new, uh, highlight new partners that's, that we're working with to get more information. Uh, so for example here, if you're interested in the Bullhorn Engage, which is our industry event that's coming up here in June in Boston, you'll be able to see an announcement about that. So you can actually go in here, and if you're interested in going to the, the Engage conference, you can you can get right in here and start registering for it um, and, and you know hang out with us in, in Boston in June. So you have anything that's related to Bullhorn, good announcements, uh, upcoming events, those types of things, you're gonna find them under the community section to help you uh, keep up to date on, on the ongoings, if you will within Bullhorn as a community. So um, at this point, that's the uh, beginning to end of what the Bullhorn community is. So I see um, that are, there are a couple of questions. So I wanna pause for a second and, and take care of those. One of the questions had to do with training and there's multiple types of training. Some of them are free and and some of them are paid. So if you go to the training tab within here, e-learning and free webinars are gonna be free. Public training and private training are gonna be uh, quoted out for you there. And you can get more information on how much that costs. Um, I wanted to see if there are any other questions. Let me pause for a second here and see what we've got. Hey Ryan, I can jump in here and read you a couple of the questions. Sure. Um, so one of these is, you mentioned that accessing the community requires a Bullhorn login. I have a developer that needs access to certain articles. How can he or she get access if they don't have a Bullhorn login? Ah, that's, a, that's a great question. So the way that you log into the community, as I had mentioned before, you have to hit this help button, which clearly means you have to be logged into Bullhorn. Um, sometimes there are certain articles that are technical um, that require a third party in order to get access. So what you can do is 
if you reach out to Bullhorn support, maybe using that contact support tab here, you can request that a third party get access and they'll get a direct uh, login within, and so they can go directly to help.bullhorn.com and actually put in credentials and log in manually. So you don't have to have a Bullhorn login in order to get access. They just need to talk with Bullhorn support in order to um, gain access to that. And then, they, then you can share those articles with them. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Another question here is, um, my company recently moved to Bullhorn Novo, and I'm having trouble finding articles that are directly related to Novo. Are those available on the community? Yes. So uh, one of the things that I had highlighted previously was that all of the articles are, are done in the Novo style. But when you make that transition from the old version of Bullhorn, the, the S release to the new Bullhorn Novo, a lot of times you need like a starting point which I, I totally understand it. It helps kind of make that change process easier. And so we've got a specific um, section here for learning more about Novo. So if you click the help icon, you'll see this little button here, learn about Novo. You can also bookmark this URL for the Novo intro. And this is a very high level, here's what we have for a webinar, for training. You can get, you can see all of the Novo articles grouped together. And then you can also get a highlight on the things that you need to change or the comparison guide, those types of things. So we do have again one of the biggest benefits of the new community is that it allows us to group a lot of this stuff together so you can just go to one page and get all the answers that you need as opposed to previously where you had to kind of aggregate all these different articles together and, and keep track of a bunch of different bookmarks you don't have to do that anymore you'll be able to come to a page like this and get the answers to get the answers to several questions all at once great um and our last question here is live chat available uh 24 7. Ah, so that's a, a great question. So for those account and support contacts that have access to this chat down here, um, you'll be able to access the chat during uh, whatever your normal, what we call the follow the sun model. Uh, so it's not 24 seven, it'll be during um, extended business hours and whatever your local time is. Uh, so we, we generally have that from eight to five, um, uh, wherever you're, you're located at. And uh Actually, we got one more question that just came in. I think it's a quick one, so we've still got time for it. Can we download articles? Uh, so there's not a download button for the articles per se. Um, you can print to PDF to save copies of the articles, or you can work with Bullhorn support if you wanted to get a, a separate copy of that. Um, but really there's no, uh, what we highly recommend is that you use URLs instead of downloading or printing articles because we are actively changing and updating everything on a very regular basis. So for example, here just within the last few months, we've updated this Welcome to Novo article and you can see that it's been updated. So for change control prop purposes and uh, for your end users, we highly recommend getting into the site, bookmarking different pages, and using that as your way of sharing information with others so that your users have the most up-to-date information. Awesome. So that's all that we have time for today. Um, so this marks the end of the webinar. But as a reminder, we will be sharing the recording with all attendees from today, um, as well as a follow-up uh, via email for any questions that we didn't have time to get to because there were a couple of those. So thank you all for joining, uh, and we hope to see you in May for our next Bullhorn Academy training webinar, which is publishing your jobs through Bullhorn. Thanks, everyone.